Today, let's make Korean j a n g a j i j a n g a j i is kind of a side dish. It's pickled, pickled vegetables. I call this LA j a n g a j i LA, Los Angeles. This is. Take a look at this. We are going to make this. I made this 12 hours ago. And now really ready to eat. Just come. So this. This brine is sweet and sour, a little salty. This is radish. I'm using celery. And it's a cucumber. I can't help tasting. Mm. It tastes sweet and sour, a little salty, very crispy. Because of the celery, really herby kind of flavor. Very unique. This is invented by somebody who is living in Los Angeles. What happened? My recipes are just all melted in my life. Some recipes are, I just go to a restaurant, I pick it up, really delicious, and then come home and then just I make up. Some recipes are, I don't know where I learned because everybody's making this way, like a kimchi. <laughs> kimchi, soybean sprouts, spinach, d e n j a n g j i g e this thing is just a, not exactly, I don't know where I learned. Just a, we, we eat that way. But this one, LA j a n g a j i I learned this from my mom. So my mom is living in Los Angeles. Maybe 12 years ago, before I started YouTube, I was living in Toronto, Canada. I visited by airplane, visited my mom. My mom just, uh, just had some like, large you know, jar filled with this j a n g a j i I tasted it, really tasted it. My mom said, oh, these days, my friends, everybody's making this way. So you gotta, you gotta make this when you go back home. I wrote down, mom, what is it, what is it? My mom even knew the ratio. When I came back to Toronto, my house, and then I made this. I took this in my lunchbox side dish you know, to my, you know, the, my work. And my coworkers, just they taste it, they love it. I gave them the recipe. And then time passes, I forgot about this. I totally I forgot about this. And then just, uh, you know, maybe a few months ago, I just checked out all my old file. And then I found this recipe. So just I thought that, oh, I should share this recipe with you know, my reader, you guys. Just a couple of days ago, I called my mom. My mom, just early morning there, and then I just asked her, Mom, you remember the, you know, long time ago, the j a n g a j i just LA j a n g a j i you know, you taught me something like, you know, something made with celery. And my mom, what? What is it? She forgot. Suddenly, early morning, called and then, Mom, You, you remember that, you know, j a n g a j i I'm going to make a video. She paused a little bit and then she kind of, you know, her brain was working hard to think about what happened. And my mom said, oh, okay. Oh, yeah. You gotta, she spoke in Korean. You need to boil, 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 you know, in Korean. Just wrote down this recipe. Even at that time, my mom made sure you gotta boil this brine. And then her eyes are just the old c r o s s So still over the phone, she said, she just remember. And then she said, bye, bye. <laughs> so anyway, so I, sometimes I feel kind of guilty because it's just uh, like I'm doing my cooking and then my mom, I made my mom so work hard, you know, think so hard. <laughs> so anyway, so today, Uh, kind of this kind of in LA j a n g a j i I'm really happy to share this recipe with you guys. And so I made this, you know, just in case, like I wanted to make sure everything's all right. And then now so good. We got a pal pal boil. Pal pal means that very vigorously, vigorously boiling. So I just already all washed and nicely, just clean, so easy. My story is long, but recipe by itself very, very easy. Let's start with celery. Celery, you don't have to peel anything. Just uh, I washed very nicely, that's all. And then I need to cut. And now cut just around one and a half inch size, crosswise. This is too 
white, so I'm going to cut one more time. So celery, three stalks of celery. And then this is a cucumber. And a seedless cucumber is good. Just cut crosswise, about a half inch, not too thin. And this is a radish, a Korean radish. I peeled. I just kept it in the refrigerator for a long time. The skin is like brownish, so I had to all clean. But if you buy the fresh Korean radish, you don't have to peel this. I will use about six ounces. This is a six ounce. I will use this amount. Size is uh, almost uh, similar to this celery size. And then onion. Onion is just medium size, half of a medium size onion. This is uh, one cup. So see, round one cup. Peppers. Peppers are optional because uh, the real original recipe from my mom is that she didn't use it. But I just add it and kind of to give some really spicy kick and it really work well. So um, this is a serrano, serrano uh, pepper and this is a small red chili pepper. This is my seven cups jar. Uh, uh. <laughs> I was surprised. Oh, I was surprised. <laughs> this is my seven cup jar, and this glass jar is perfect for this. And I will just put all this stuff inside. First, let's mix. And add this here. Just press down. It fits well, isn't it? So actually you can add some more here if you want, just like this. Or just a little more. And then I'm going to make a brine now. Soy sauce, one cup. Vinegar, one cup. I use this organic raw cane turbinated sugar. So half cup. You can use white sugar or brown sugar. Half cup. Two cups water. And stir. Let's heat it up. It has to be boiled, boil, boil, boil. <laughs> Vigorously. Five minutes later, it's really boiling. Oh, let's uncover. Okay, I think done. After boiling, I boiled just two more minutes. Pal, pal. Okay, turn off. And then, this hot broth, I'm going to add right here. So this is really hot. Let it cool down like this. And later, after thoroughly it's cooling down, just refrigerate it. And then just fresh and cold. It should be served really, really cold. That's it. That's Jangachi, LA Jangachi. And probably you guys have a question. How about after eating this, you know, the radish and all this stuff, what am I going to do with this leftover brine? You can also eat it when you kind of mix with rice and you can eat it, but still you have a lot of leftover brine and you can make 
Next batch, new batch of this you know, LA jangachi. Add some more water, soy sauce, vinegar, a little sugar to your taste. This is a kind of mipanchan, mipanchan side dish that you can eat for a long time. Let me taste the celery. Mm. Koreans eat this with rice, but you guys, uh, why not with the hamburger? You know, something like a greasy stuff, oily stuff, you eat it. Something you need is some pickle, and then just to taste this. Today, we made LA jangachi. Enjoy my recipe. See you next time. Bye.